All right, everybody, it's time for another episode of Path of Exile, and today we are doing the Duelist. The Duelist starts in the bottom of the tree. Uh, you get some melee physical damage and a bit of health to start you off. And going down inside, melee attack speed into this one. This one's really good. It gives you uh, some more range with your melee weapons. And from there, you can branch into some more weapons or get some health on the side here. And this side is more about attack speed, as well as uh, going into projectiles if you choose to do a bow character, as well as more uh, projectile... Uh, projectileness, uh, attack speed, and uh, this one's also really good. Ignore all movement penalties for armor. I really like that one. So this one's actually a fun class because this is probably arguably a better projectile class than actually the ranger, which is what you saw me do before. Yeah. Um, I like how I'm in the pool here. I, I look like I'm kind of like just drowning myself. Blah, 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 kind of thing. <laughs> it's great, great shit. So of course we have our, uh, our Kiwi out and he's uh, around. So, uh, so how does the, the, uh, uh, duelist differ? Well, let's see what's in our, uh, little weapon slot here. So we have, a uh, dual strike. And we have another, we have two swords here, actually. So we get, we get double strike and cleave. And so, double strike, uh, dual strike, what that does is, that's a high DPS ability. And cleave is a really, uh... Cleave is an area attack, as you, as you saw me do with my, with my Marauder. Um, and this is actually a really cool class, actually. I, I, I'm actually a huge fan of this one. Uh, if I was more into melee, I think I'd roll this more often. I actually like this guy a whole lot. And the reason for- the reason I do like him is because he has a lot of great abilities. And I'm gonna die so fast. Alright, let me just get this guy. He, now, he is dependent upon, like, accuracy, as you saw before. Like, he's just- Oh, these are blue! Alright, well, we got an iron hat here to start us off with. Okay. I was wondering why these guys are doing so much potential damage to me, but that would be why. Um, this guy has insane DPS. Like, I start with, uh, 15 DPS on my- on my swords there. But- and the area of effect- oh, dear god. Have I ever leveled up this fast in any of these videos? I don't think so. And you know what? This is probably how most of the people do it. So I'm gonna start off with some more damage and health. Which means I just raised my DPS by another 5. Just by doing absolutely fuck all. That's awesome. And there's some shanks here. I'm gonna stick with the swords. This is this is how, you know, when you see all the people leveling up really fast, this is how they do it. It's... They find a good blue mob and then they do that. But, uh... You know, it's it's good for us. So we're we're going by the same uh, tactics we did last time, uh, except that we're probably gonna have much better time than we did with my Marauder, because the Marauder, the Marauder was kind of just smelly. Uh, he sucked. Let me just kill these guys. Uh, the Marauder wasn't like I wasn't playing him the way you're technically supposed to. Uh, let's just let's just get this group over here. Look at that. Oh man, you know, if you love if you love AoE, this is a class for you. Now the thing about single one-handed weapons is that they do a bit less damage than it would be with a, a DPS than it would be if you just had a... Wow, Dual Strike is doing really well. A little bit less DPS than it would be if you hadn't... If you just went two-handed. But since you have two of them, and you have an ability that uses both of them at the exact same time... Uh, well, you know, I don't. you don't have to be a physicist to know uh, exactly how much DPS that's going to do, which is a lot. It's really good though. This is this is a great class to start with because you start with like as I said, a lot of uh, a lot of single hand like like you get immediately a really powerful AOE and a really powerful single target. So this is almost unfair, I think. I think we're gonna go places in this one. Will we make it past that the those those stupid ass caves that I hated last time? I think this is insane. I'm not even trying to go for like lots of DPS, but you know, well, you know, I'm obviously going to be going for lots of DPS, but you know, that's that's besides the point. Fuck you, Snake. Get over here. Yeah, he can't really do much about it. There you go. Seems this new arena suits me. All right, and we get a quiver, some iron gauntlets. Uh, the rest of this I don't really need. I'm just gonna take a robe just because I don't really have anything else. Uh, dagger is actually. Oh shoot, I don't even need this. Look at this one. Um, yeah, so these are both useless. I think I can't have... Uh, dual wield only will not work with wands. Only works with axes and swords. So we can't use a dagger with our, uh, one of our abilities. 
All right, and for this one, we are going to take the alluring because I really want to have a Quicksilver. Because I think Quicksilvers are like one of the most important things. I didn't get to run one last time, and I want to I want to go fast. And now our DPS is up to 20. Not too bad. We're, we're still doing good, and these are still with the default weapons. I haven't upgraded to anything yet. I'm pretty much looking for anything. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, uh oh. Woohoo. These guys still do a hell of a lot of damage to me. Can I get away from this guy? Thank you. I, I like you. I do cause them to flinch a little bit whenever I hit them, but those guys hurt, dude. They hurt like hell. Alright, I'll just kill this guy. So whenever I, like, I, spirit is spent. to be honest, I, I, I actually want to get them into a group like this, because I could just do this. But the first ability I'm really after is actually that plus two range, because guess what, guess what is, affects that plus two range? If you guess cleave, then you're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, making cleave more powerful, judging, and the fact that you can be farther away from an enemy to attack it. You know, it's just, yeah, you know, do the science on that, guys. Tell me exactly how that's amazing. Okay, we're going to take actually this rusted sword here, and the reason I'm going to take it is because if I find an orb of alchemy, I might just upgrade it. Or like an orb of anything, actually. Okay, right, we're just going to cleave these guys. There we go. So, if you do a standard attack with this guy, he just attacks with one weapon at a time, and that's boring. You want to be trying to dual strike, like, all the time. But, like, if you really like characters, like, that do, like, just, like, kind of, like, rogues or something that, like, do a hell of a lot of DPS, this is a, this is the class for you. And it's kind of weird that it starts, it's it's basically a strength-dexterity hybrid. So we're actually, this is actually, sorry, I, I forgot to mention that, that this is the first class we're running that actually is a hybrid class. Uh, so you start with a bit of strength and a bit of dexterity. And so I guess ideally you're going to have high accuracy with the swords and you're going to be, you can be critting with the swords. You can kind of build your character however you want. Um, ideally though, you're, 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 you're going to have high accuracy anyways. And you get like some nice, uh, uh, and, and as for actual like stat, bone, like what stats you're getting, it's, it's basically what you're rolling as, um. Uh, evasion and armor. So you have a bit of uh, a chance to evade and a bit of uh, damage reduction if you do get hit after all. So that's that's it's not too bad. It's actually pretty good uh, the gear for this guy. Uh, but in my case though I'm, I'm looking to run only swords and I'm actually looking more for armor. Uh, and there's actually a really nice uh, node that is near near the tr in between the ranger and the duelist uh, area. And it basically converts all your evasion rating to armor. Uh, and it's probably one of the best things, especially for playing in hardcore mode where you only have one life. Uh, it is actually probably one of the better th better things to, to decide to run. Because, you know, do you really want to have a chance to evade? Or do you want to have a chance to just get the hell out of there? Okay, so now, we, now we're actually running armor. This is actually the exact kind of duelist armor he runs, which is, uh, if you saw it, was armor and energy shield. Uh, sorry, no, uh, armor and evasion. Uh, so you can pretty much guess how all the other ones work. Uh, is there no boss here? Uh, yeah, he's somewhere. I know he is. Okay. I uh, will just do that. I'm trying to looking. I'm looking around for him. Uh, we'll go convert this to uh, more elemental or stun recovery. Okay, we'll keep it with the elemental resists. Because, uh, judging by that last right here we go, here he is. So, we're gonna just DPS this guy, we're gonna DPS this guy down. Now, you know, one of the weird things I always found is that this guy is pretty far away from the intelligence node, so he doesn't really get mana. However, the duelist, though, gets some really early on mana. It's actually kind of unfair that the ranger has huge mana difficulties. I mean, if you were watching me do that one, that was ridic ridiculous. Um, and we don't want any of this crap, so, actually, the, the, the sash will want. Here we go. And maybe the boots? Actually, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, and so, actually, for this one, we are going to get a curious chest because that has something called Viper Strike. I'm right, just going to talk. It's a basically it, uh, does a uh, chaos damage, which is basically poison. And we're going to continue with the melee attack speed because uh, we want to we want to actually go fast with this character. And now I'm going to actually start using my flasks. Erected tomb. You know, I, I do have a feeling though that like 
a lot of the great characters you see in this in this mode, in Descent League at least, are probably running this kind of guy, which is a... Uh, maybe I should dual strike him. Because uh, this guy is just amazing for DPS. So I imagine like later on, this really gets you far. Now we know what happened with Rose the last time. Munch your tricks, Rose. And there's actually a club down there. And so he's not going to be resing anybody anymore. Now here's the problem. I have a really nice club there, but if I use it, then I'm not going to be able to have a uh, cleave anymore. So that doesn't really do me very good. But however, there's a, a, a nice copper sword here. So I, I'm okay with replacing that, except I can't because I need level 5. We'll keep it around. Oh well. I'm also having major problems with mana. Okay, and we're having this problem again. Just get rid of these guys. Is someone resing these guys? If they are, I swear to god. They wasn't really paying attention for just a moment there, but uh... They're being res, I swear. Okay, let's just kill these. Oh, they're blue! Basically, don't don't run away from these guys like ever, because they'll do more damage to you if they do their little their little charge attack. Roas are like the bane of every player's existence who plays this game, because they just do so much damn damage. And you're if you're susceptible to being desync, which is basically desync is the game has a very different idea of where are, where you are potentially, because uh, the ser on server side it has to calculate like you know where you moved and all that. That's why, that's why whenever you move around, there's no delay. Like, you just kind of see it, and it's very comfortable. The server tries to guess where you are, but sometimes doesn't always get it right, and that's the problem. And there is a thing here. So let's kill the Sin Master. And so that's, that's, that's actually probably, this is, that's the number one reason people, people die, is because, yeah, you sometimes, uh, you get desync. The server has a completely different idea of where you are, and wow, this is a really good sword. We're going to grab that one. I'm gonna have one giant sword, and uh, I look like a uh, half a musket here. My spirit is spent. So yeah, when those guys run into you, they're they're uh, running damage. The the, map, the speed they're running at uh, completely uh, uh, changes the. Ooh, we can get raised zombie if we want. Here we go, raise some zombies. <laughs> Cause why the fuck not? I love zombies. At, at worst, it'll it'll just distract them. For a bit of training ground and right fast. And we got these guys. So you know you can do a bit of hybrid classes too. You know I can you can just kind of grab. It's like oh just for no reason I'm gonna have fucking zombies. Why why the hell not? Uh, scare mask is uh, evasion and energy shield. I, I don't think we're gonna be running that. However, we did get this sword here, so let's go grab this. Although the other one would be better, I think. Uh, those ones give you actually critical strike multiplier. That's actually a, a bonus that's always on those ones. Uh, okay, so for this one we're gonna grab uh, we're gonna grab the alluring chest because we don't actually have any rings, and so I figured that's a good idea. And with these swords, I'm gonna drop them on the ground. I'm gonna drop all of them on the ground. We also have a, a sword of augmentation, so we just made it even better. Can we augment it with new render properties? Nope. And there you go, that's all I did. So now I have uh, 41 DPS compared to before. And uh, with that, we're gonna... And you know what I can even do in this next area? I can even uh, steal this guy's uh, zombies. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get rid of all these guys. Okay, no, we're not. So I'm gonna cleave just so I can accidentally hit everything behind him. Because, uh... Even though one of my abilities has higher DPS, ah, whatever, I'll just use a higher DPS one. Fine, you guys win. And we got a Chromatic with that, and a small Mana Flask, which we'll also use. And uh, there's also another Rusted Spike, however, we did upgrade the other we the other Sword we get, so it's okay. Uh, that's really not gonna do much. Uh, we- that's a- That, uh, uh, what's my call it? The Mana Potion I just got will raise my stun recovery during the time. I don't think I should really use that. Well, whatever. It's better than nothing, I guess. We'll run that. And we're already in uh, the tomb, which is nice with the spiders. 
And I honestly, you know, I feel very different from how I was running this before, which is I'm just, I feel like I'm just fucking wrecking everything. I'm actually having a whole lot of fun. Sorry, I meant to cleave these. And here we have a Shaman of Anger. Oh, right, the Shaman. Well, hopefully I'll kill them before they can cast Molten Shell on me. Because that's honestly what I'm mostly concerned about. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's just eat that damage. And we'll just get this guy. Ah, uh, Black Mist. My spirit is spent. Yeah, we know. They call it spirit, even though it's called technically mana. Like, it, you'll see in my bottom corner, they actually call it mana. But, uh, in this... Each character has a di different saying for what, what it might be. Uh, or actually, I think they I, I think they actually mostly are the same. Oh god. Is this guy even worth it? Fuck it. Nobody casts fucking Molten Shell when my glats around. Uh, and we got a Coral Ring, which is nice. Uh, let's go just, uh... Identify that. Oh, we get more cast speed, which actually doesn't really help as much as you think. Now, one of the things I'm going to try to roll, if I find it, is, uh... I'm going to try and roll uh, a flask that... Uh, sorry, uh, a, a ring that potentially will give me, uh... Oh my god, there's so many... Oh no! Oh no, you don't. I'm just... I'm going... I'm getting out of here. Bye! You don't fucking cast that on me. I think you'll get away with it. Okay. So, this one, we're just going to cleave our way out of this one. I honestly, I really hate Molten Shell. This could be the number one thing that always kills me. Okay, and so now we got Viper Strike, and Ray Zombie cannot be used anymore. And there you go. So as I said, you know, gems, even though you saw my witch with that, even though it just dropped, and I just figured, you know, it's kind of useful just to have. So why not? And we're going to go with a bit more melee damage, and we're going to keep rolling with this. This is nice. There we go. So yeah, it, like the class, the, your starting class doesn't actually matter as much as you think. You can't go, oh fuck, I picked a, uh, I picked a Marauder and I and I really decided I like bows. You know, people do Marauder all the time. It's actually a really popular build. Okay, let me kill that guy. And look, they're they're just slowly coming back after me here. Okay, we also picked up a chest plate here, which has a lot of armor on it. We'll take that. We always prefer armor over evasion because. Would you prefer to uh, absorb physical damage, or would you prefer to uh, uh, to possibly have a percent chance to evade an attack? I think I'd, I think I prefer to negate it in the first place. Oh god, I hate these guys. Come over here. We also have really shit flasks. This is another. Uh, ooh, this is a good rapier. We'll, we'll take that one. Oh my god, that guy did cast it. That could have been really bad news for me. They they love to cast that ability. All right, and we're we're leaving that we're leaving that those uh, the what's some called things you see on the ground there on purpose uh, the stone axe because you can run axes with this but that is a two hander so that's not worth us bringing along so that's that's basically it with that and these these are leaping goats so. You know, just in case you're wondering. My spirit is spent. Don't don't you dare cast your molten shell, I hate that. Now I, I know that there's gonna be that corpse explosion bitch wherever and I you know, I think I skipped her the last time. But you know, hopefully she won't uh she won't insta kill me. Okay. Basically, if I see a corpse exploding, then I'll know she's around. Uh, th hopefully that will happen before I'm dead. No, that's my assumption, but that's that's the person we're mainly looking around for here. We did pick up another scale vest, and this is really not any better, because it's just... It'll, it'll give me some evasion, but like I'm, I have no need for things, for things like that. Okay, well, let's go over here and uh, activate that flask. Oh, uh, that's a bad spot for us to be in. They're just gonna just fire choke uh, fireballs in this choke point here. You know we don't need to be here. Let's go. The, let's go the other way. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there's a sarcophagus. Nothing in here. All right. 
So after this, there's like about two more classes I still haven't shown you yet. Also, I'm now starting to one-hit these guys. Kind of nice. Yeah, this this is seriously not enough life. Let's get over here. I'm starting to run out of mana flat charges. 